Here's how to make your own expressive sound in Equator. In the previous video, we learned how to get started with Equator presets with an overview of the synth and modulation panels. This time, let's create an expressive sound from scratch that responds to the five dimensions of touch. When creating sounds, it is recommended to use Equator as a plugin inside a DAW. This way, you can use the volume meters to ensure that your sound is not too loud or too quiet. To start, go to the menu and create a new sound. The initialized sound has only one oscillator activated with a simple sine wave. By clicking on the amp envelope, we can see that it is controlling the level of oscillator 1. By default, strike is mapped to the amp envelope level which means that all of the sound generating modules are currently velocity sensitive. Also by default, Glide is mapped to control the coarse pitch of all of the sound generating modules. This means that you can glide your fingers left or right for pitch bend. For this example, let's create a lush pad sound. Start by changing the waveform of oscillator 1 to sawtooth. Increase the minimum amp envelope level for better velocity response. Let's add a second sawtooth by enabling oscillator 2. If you try playing now, you may find the sound too cold or digital. Let's try detuning oscillator 1 to around negative 3 and oscillator 2 to around plus 5. As you are designing a sound, pay attention to the overall volume and be careful to avoid audio clipping. You can adjust the master level of the sound in the global page. Let's try increasing the release of the amp envelope to add some space to the end of our notes. Enable filter 1 as a low pass and make the sound slightly darker. Adjust the cutoff frequency to your preference. Let's use Envelope 2 to control the filter cutoff. If you want more fine control of the ADSR, switch envelope view. Let's increase the attack of the amp envelope. Let's enable Sample 1 and add the Unison Pad Sample Instrument to our sound. Adjust the level relative to the oscillators. and transpose it by 12 half steps.
Now that the foundation of the sound is ready, let's map the five dimensions of touch. First, we want the sound to get brighter as we strike harder. To do this, click on Strike so that it's highlighted yellow, and then drag the filter cutoff to increase or decrease the range of the modulation. Now we want the sound to respond to press, so that when I press into the key waves, the sound gets brighter. Let's assign press to filter cutoff again, this time with a bit more range. As you play the sound, notice it becomes bright very quickly. We can use the transfer curve to adjust the response of press. Now let's introduce some motion to the sound with an LFO controlling the cutoff of filter 1. If you enable the LFO, the default level is 100%. Let's use slide to control this so that moving up will increase the LFO amount. First, reduce the level of the LFO. Then click on slide to assign it to the level of the LFO. Let's also enable sync and adjust the frequency. Now, the LFO is synced to your DAW tempo. Finally, let's assign lift. Enable oscillator 3 and the FM module. Click on lift and assign it to the depth B dial. You may want to also assign it to the release stage of both envelopes to make the lift effect longer. Now the five dimensions are all mapped. Let's complete the sound with some effects. For example, enable reverb and adjust the wetness to about 8%. Adjust the size, damping, and pre-delay to your liking. When your sound is ready, save it as a new preset. Add tags to make the sound easier to find in the future. Now you're ready to create your own expressive sounds in Equator. However, this was only a brief introduction. Explore all the different sound source, modulation, effects, and mixer options to create your own signature sounds.